Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian. Thanks for coming back, checking out another video. Today, I'm going to do a swipe. And I've been practicing a couple of times and I've been using some different mixtures. So today I'm gonna to try to swipe and I'm gonna use my Dutch pour mix for my colors. Um, and then I used a white cell activator, uh, which is Amsterdam. And I'm using three parts Floetrol, one part of Amsterdam titanium white. I'll get you down on the canvas and we'll talk about the other colors. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've got here is a 12 by 16 canvas. I've already flooded it. I'm using the base coat is Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is one of my absolute favorite colors to use. So I thought this would be a great uh, swipe base. Hoping, fingers crossed. Today's colors I'm going to be using are Amsterdam's Thalo Green, Deco Art Aquamarine, Pebio's Iridescent Orange Yellow, Amsterdam's King's Blue, and I'm going to use Folk Art Treasure Gold. I, um, I saw Massey Art Studios, Lee specifically, do a swipe with a Payne's Gray base. And so I thought I would give it a try, change up the colors. I'm going to do a little different technique. So in his particular video, he used, he uh, uh, wet a paper towel and swiped. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my cell activator, which is titanium white from Amsterdam. And I mix that with three parts Floetrol, one part Amsterdam white here. And so what I'm going to do is I've cut some plastic that I use on my table, small sheets. And I'm going to use that as <clears throat> my dragging through the white. So let's get started here. Actually, you know what? Let me just, there's a couple of air bubbles. Because I just mixed up this uh, Payne's Gray <clears throat> in a large batch. My mixture for my Dutch pour paints, because that's the paints that I'm using for the mixture. And the same mixture that I use for this uh, base, Payne's Gray is 80 grams of Floetrol, 40 grams of paint, 35 grams of water. I'm hoping this uh, Dutch pour mixture will work. Fingers crossed. All right, so I am going to start off with the gold. Normally I would use Folk Art, or excuse me, I would use uh, the Deco Art 24 karat gold, but I have some of this Folk Art gold that I'm going to try to use up. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the gold first. I'm gonna come through the center. Do a little extra line there. All right. That should be enough gold. All right, the next color I'm gonna use is the Amsterdam King's Blue. Come in right next to the gold. side. Ooh. Immense concentration there. Next is going to be my iridescent orange yellow. using this metallic and the iridescent colors in hopes that this also helps create the cells. So we all know that the cell activator with the Amsterdam white is gonna help create the cells, but I'm gonna give it a little kick in the pants, so to speak, with these metallic colors. This is the Aquamarine by Deco Art. I'm really hoping this is gonna come out because these colors 
on the panes gray just look beautiful already. I'm gonna have to start mixing up. I'm gonna have to have a paint mixing day here soon because a lot of my colors and my bottles are starting to get a little thin. I've got enough colors. We got one, two, three, four, five. So that should be enough. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is come through with my white. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my white right here on top of the gold as my swipe. So, I'm going to swipe this way and I'm going to swipe that way. All right, I think probably should put on some gloves. This might get a little messy. These darker colors, like Payne's gray, black, when you use those, get them on your fingers. Pretty rough trying to get them off. All right. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my plastic in the white, make sure it's coated, and then I'm gonna drag it across. the colors down on the side so I'm hoping some of these pieces are going to be smaller larger so I get different aspects of the swipe I'm thinking what I want to do is add a line of the Payne's Gray through the middle to give it some separation.
Okay, so that is a much better fix. So it was just looking a little too discombobulated with the colors. So by taking the paper towel and bringing it another swipe, that evened things out so much better. The gold is very subtle. There's some orange coming through. So the orange got lost, but it is peeking up through here. Okay, what I'll do is I will bring you down and show you a close up of the wet result. Be right back. Okay, here is the up close and personal look. I'll bring you in. You can see that orange. See how it kind of got lost there, but you do see the orange peeking through in a few cells. That aqua aquamarine really brought in the cells. The blue. King's Blue, you see that in there. As I did, I did make this uh, line here through the middle with some more Payne's Gray. You see the gold there, kind of bringing its way down. There's some more orange. So yeah, and then of course, Thalo Green. Thalo Green, beautiful color. And you don't have to use a lot of Thalo Green in a lot of the colors because Thalo Green will take over. So, all right, everyone, I will, uh, again, I'll show you the, the uh, dried result in just a few minutes. I'll be right back. It's, it's not quite dry. I'll bring you in close so you can see. But for my first time doing a swipe, I like it a lot. Um, I'll bring you in for a close-up. So you see all those little tiny cells, which are cool. A lot of these cells happen because of the metallic paints, but also because of the white Amsterdam titanium white beautiful coloring I love how the colors played well um, I wanted to do something that wasn't going to be so bright and vibrant I love bright and vibrant colors but I thought I would just try something different so I'm really liking how this came out again first swipe as far as doing a video on it I like it a lot um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this piece don't forget, if you're interested in any of my pieces, you can always email me directly at briansuppervalleyartistry at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I have new video content coming out. All right, everyone, have a great day and enjoy the rest of the week. Bye-bye.